Hey everybody, you're watching Who Do You Like TV? How you doing everybody? You, Hi guys. Hey, we got a, we got a great show tonight. Um, that was my song, Beautiful Day, and we, I did a, a video, a home video with it, and that, that was it. Beautiful day. But we got, a, we got a great show tonight. We got no other than Frank James to Woo! our left over there. We got Dave Coella. Hey, ready? <laughs> Co-host Miranda Panda, <laughs> and we got no other than Bloop, Woo! Sal, <laughs> and we got Joe Long. Everybody, hey, he's gonna do some comedy tonight. Joe, you got some good comedy, right? Yes, I do. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna make everybody laugh on Saturday. I hope so. I stole well, listen, it. Joe, you're you're funny just being you. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, you're a character. We got you. We got you in the cartoon. That there. explains why she was laughing last night. <laughs> oh. No, no. Ah, <laughs> point. But it's okay to laugh as long as you don't point. <laughs> so, yes. so we got Dave. He's gonna do some. He's gonna show everybody um, got, out there how to the how to work out, right, Dave? You yeah. got you got some good points. Something about first. fitness, yes. And Miranda's gonna uh, demonstrate. You got something? Yeah, yeah. Demonstrate yeah, I'll just show something simple, something that you don't have to go to the gym and still be able to do from home or from anywhere you want. Wow, that's great. Pray for me. No, and no, no, it won't be hard. You, you'll see. It'll yeah, be simple. but well, you 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 had a couple of people already that lost like ten. Uh, 15 yes, pounds, actually, right? yes. In the last couple of weeks, I had about um, about about fifty women who lost anywhere from five to thirteen pounds in seven days. Wow. Okay, and my programs are actually designed just for women, thirty-five and over, right? Okay. And more like an entrepreneur women, you know, uh, something like corporate, they're always in the office. And then this actually gets them active again and also makes their metabolism kick in again. That's right? cool. wow. But I mean, if you, if you guys want to try, it will work for you, but it's mainly designed for women. Mm -hmm. Okay? What's the, uh, like, as far as we're just going to talk about this for a second, then we're going to show a, uh, a, a flick. Um, what, what is mentally get you going like what's the what's the thing that you would get them going with like that well, you could tell people out there that I'll help them okay one of the things that you got to do is actually set up a goal right always set up some kind of realistic goal at the same time set up a timeline so let's say if you want to lose like uh, 10 pounds right you could set up a week two weeks or even three weeks so you set up a goal you set up a plan now you got to stick to it you just got to commit to it so what I have I actually done something called the little black dress mm -hmm. challenge Right. So what it is like, you know, a lot of women, they talk about they got this little dress that they got in the closet. They want to fit on it, but they can't fit on it, whether they go into a wedding or they're going to go to a party or something like that. But they're always looking at it. They're always talking about it. You know what? I want to fit on that dress, but they can. Right. Yeah. So what I do is actually set up a rapid weight loss program that would allow uh, any woman right, to lose anywhere from five to 13 pounds in a week so they could fit into that little black dress. So that motivation that you were saying. Right. That motivation could be your dress, your shirt, or a pair of pants that you haven't worn in a mm -hmm. long time. Like, let's say if something's tied around you, you know, let's say you want to do a, a walk with your grandkids again or with your kids. This is your motivation. You pick something you want, and you focus on it, and then you reach it. Yeah. My problem is I go to centuries, and I say, oh, I'm going to fit into this. And you start squeezing into it, and you're like, oh, boy, I got to go back to the gym a little bit longer <laughs> yeah. to get, you know, it's just like it never ends. But I know. That's the, that's the hard part. Right? You know what it is? It, it's, if you guys think about it, fitness, fitness is not about working out just one day or two days or anything like that. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. You know, if you think about it like that, that's how you actually get, make changes and you see results. And one of the things that I always tell people, if you have commitment, you will see results. But you have to have commitment. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yes. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get back to you on that, Dave, sure. because that's, that's a great... Um, mm -hmm. 
great subject right now since everybody's getting ready for the the, the summer, beach, the yeah. summer, yeah. Weather, summer right? buddies. That's right. So that's that's a good topic, and um, you know you're doing a lot of uh, good things for people by doing Thank that you. too. Thank you. you know. Mm -hmm. So, but oh, we got we got a musical guest that's coming out, Frank. But before we do that, we're going to show we had a great guest on on one of my shows, my uh, um, shows Liberty DeVito. He he's he was Billy Joel's mm -hmm. um, original drummer who recorded <laughs> everything. Uh, all like the Glass House um, album, he was the he was the drummer on it. So he did all the major major work for him when he be became famous and stuff. So I have an interview with him. I'm just going to show you a little uh, bit of that interview. Brian, do you have that before we go on? And then we're gonna. Yeah, he said he got it. Yep. He's got it. Mm -hmm. hey, we're here tonight at uh, the TV studio. We got uh, we got a special guest for. Um, uh, Nevin Cummings Comedy Show, Staten Island Comedy Show, and we got Who Do You Like TV, and we got the Slim Kings. How you doing? How you doing, man? So who do you play? What, what's your name? Uh, my name's Michael. I sing and play the guitar. Okay, Mike. Yes. Liberty Drums. Liberty Drum. I'm Andy. I play the bass. Okay. All right. So, um, so you're here tonight. So, uh, where, where are you coming from? You, you had a gig. Brooklyn, baby. Brooklyn. This is where we live. Brooklyn, Brooklyn New York. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, listen, I, I heard, I was listening to your album. You got some nice stuff on it. Blues, live sound, and you don't, you don't hear that much anymore, the live live band stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, the the, uh, the album that I, the, the CD that I heard, that was like two years old, right? It was a, yep. Were you sp all playing on it at that time? We were, and uh, yeah. we like to make records where we're all playing at the same time, in the room at the same time. Yeah, and, right, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, old style now, but it's for us, it uh, always provides something new. Yeah, cool, cool. And uh, so, Liberty, you're the drummer. Yes, I And you, I, I heard you played with a, uh, another um, great act at one time. Who might that be? Uh, it wasn't Billy Joel. It wasn't Billy Joel, <laughs> right, yeah. So, I, so uh, yeah, yeah. How many years did you play with? Bill? 30. 30 years? 30, yeah. Wow. I think Al Capone spent less time in prison than... Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you went through the hard times with him too then, oh, right yeah. at the went end? Went through the hard times, went through the great times, and then went through the hard times again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like being a, um, you know, in a superstar band like that. You, know. you mean this band here? Superstar yeah, well, this, I, you guys are great. These are my great. superstars right yeah, here. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should say right to that? now, right? Well, we're going to hear the superstar. We're going to hear the new version of you guys, right? And, uh, yeah, so, all right, so, yeah, so. You miss uh, Billy Joel? No. No, right? No. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, all right. So, like, where do we go from so, here? So, yeah, so what, what is your next album? When is your next album? When are you still doing your... Slim Kings, go ahead, yeah. tell them. Go ahead. We finished uh, our last record. We just finished recording it. We're going to put it out shortly. Sort of dropping little singles and stuff. You can find all our music uh, yeah. at slimkings.com Slim or Kings, on okay. uh, Facebook. You'd like us and all the usual suspects. All right, so there it is, Billy Joel's drummer. Um, for Thirty years, wow. 30, 30 years, Liberty DeVito. Wow. So we had we had nothing but famous people on Who Do You Like TV. I mean, Bloop, Bloop is a is a famous paddleboard player. He's he's yeah. he's unknown, but he's he's known. He's known, he's yeah. known but he's <laughs> unknown. He's getting there. In That's other words, there. Yeah. Like well, you. he's on Who Do You Like TV. Yeah. Fred, that's like you. Yeah. Well, yeah. You're known, but you're like, oh, yeah, I'm known. Yeah, you're very well unknown. <laughs> I'm known not to be known. No, I, you got to see. The other day, I'm, I'm driving the car. All of a sudden, this guy pulls down his window. He goes, Freddie. He goes, Freddie. I said, why? I said, what's the matter? He says, I love your show. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I says, all right. I'll see you next time. <laughs> you, know, you never know. But no, nah, it was, that so was funny. it's nice to be. Yeah, yeah, it is. Recognized. Yeah. Recognized. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And plus, you leave a legacy. Yeah, you know, because you better, never know when you help out. It's better when you're recognized as an unknown because once you, you know, well, you know, like the Beatles, they said we wish you could, we could play in a corner and not nobody know us and just like our music, our new music of today. You know what I mean? Like because once they know they're a Beatle, so much noise around. Well, your no, it's not that. Thing. They they think they're great. Yeah, you could play. Um, Humpty Dumpty or something, and they they say, oh, that's the great, you know, but uh, you know, and that, they're not really better not the to talent. be known, in, you know, to be, you know, yeah. Yeah. better to be loved, than never to be loved. Yeah, but what happens when what you get somebody mistakes you for somebody else? Yeah, I had that. 
Yeah? Yeah, I was walking into a building, and yeah. these two girls was walking out. And they took me for Steve Martin. I heard the girl tell the other girl, look at that jerk. Wow. <laughs> I can see that kind of. <laughs> Steve, I can that. see it. The jerk, the movie, the jerk. The jerk, the jerk. <laughs> Yeah. Bloop is like Ed, the Ed McMahon of. Um, yeah. Hey, I like him. He laughs at all my jokes. So long. But anyway, all right. So. He just takes most of the couch up. All right. Yeah. Why don't we? Uh, you want to? You want to sing a song? Oh. First, or you, you want to do the video? Yeah. First? Maybe talk about the video. What, the, what it was about? Song, yeah. Well, this song that you want to. You want to say think, what this song is about? Yeah. Um, Help the skelter too, wasn't it? That's later. That's later. Yeah. yeah so, um, the song that the, we're going to show the video. Fred Kosh, uh, he's the creator of this song, by the way, and he gave me the privilege of singing on the song, which was just a great experience. And I want everyone who watches it now to realize that the song itself was done, recorded, mixed, and completed in another three hours. And uh, I think oh, when you wow. listen to that, yeah, the, the, the whole song was done. Fred did all the music in one hour with all the keyboards. He had different keyboards. I did this, the vocals, and Fred did some uh, backup vocals. And then we mixed it, and it was done in less than three hours at uh, Phoenix Studios. And I was very happy. My son, uh, who takes classes there, was part of the experience, which was really nice for me. Um, you know, it's a great video. And uh, Fred, mind you, tell me about the lyrics, how, how it started. Oh, the lyrics, well, the lyrics with uh, Jimmy Jimbo from uh, California. He, um, I was friends with him and stuff, and, and he, he had... You know, he had written a, a couple of gospel. I says, he, he wrote a, he wrote a, he says, I got this song that, you know, he, he died and came back, and he wrote this song, and it, and it, and it was called Please Don't Let Me Die. Was it a car wow. accident? How, what, what happened Yeah, it was a him? car accident that he had. He was, he, they pronounced him dead, and he came back to life, wow. and um, he started, you know, he was a writer, you know, he's a songwriter, and um, he wrote this song, Please Don't Let Me Down. And um, so I says, you know what? I want to record this. And then I was thinking of Frank James. I says, Frank probably could do this song really good. Thank you. And that's how we did it. So let's, uh, you want to check it out? Yeah. What do yeah. you think? Can we check the song out? Please don't let me down. The video, right? Yeah. All right. But uh, yeah, so there it is. The children way in you there is life and truth. Sometimes we look far away. Instead of seeking you, instead of seeking you, there's a difference. When you're living, the God inside of you, the God inside of you.
basically that that's the song that he wrote when he came back to life and and he you know and mm -hmm. he started writing again he wrote that song Jimmy Jimbug but um, it's a, I think it's a great song and it's a it's a song that you know you have to have faith in God you know what, yeah. whatever you mm -hmm. believe in there is a God out there you know so and uh, Frank you did a great job thank you it. yeah you did thank, thank you that was your brainchild so yeah. So oh, anyway. it's a beautiful song. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, but all right. On a, on <coughs> that note, on that note, <laughs> and a good uh, note. we have we have some comedy tonight. We are. We got <laughs> Joe Long. Joe Long, Did you he show up? Hey, he's here. No, Joe he's Long late is again. in the building. Everybody, let's hear it for Joe <laughs> Long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Joe, don't go too far out because I, you I know want to be seen. Oh, oh, get, get the mic. mic. There's a mic. Oh, yeah, right there. There's <laughs> a mic. You didn't know my... No, grab the mic and then bring it out here. Bring it over here. I'm bringing it over here. All right. Man. I don't work for the staff. Yeah. Right. Okay. First of all... First of all... It's nice being here again. All I right, Joe. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I feel Clap, so warm. <laughs> Are you looking at my butt? <laughs> uh, Amanda, go look at it. You can. Uh, Miranda. Uh, Miranda. 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 Keep your name mixed up. <laughs> okay, let's start out with it. So, first of all... Yeah. I don't know how much longer I got, but I want to tell you right now. How long do you got? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in the punch line. <laughs> uh, jumping uh, into the punch But I just want to talk about what's going on in Congress. Con yeah. Microphone. Okay, this is better? Yeah. Okay. What's going on in Congress? Come on. You people. Who voted the Democrats in? I don't know. Because one thing, they get into office. First thing they do, they want you to vote them. Oh, we're, we're, we're going to think about America. No, you don't. You don't think about America. You start thinking about people, illegals. They get everything from you. We don't. First thing they want to do is take our money to give it to them. Wait a minute. I work hard. I want to give money where it belongs. Joe, why don't you give me your money? Would I'll you take, like it? I'll take care yeah, of it. Yeah, you can take it. It's like Congress. <laughs> you know? I want, I want 80% of your, your dollars. 80%. You <laughs> definitely are Congress. They want us to give all the money to them. You know, they got all these free things they're going to give. They want to give money to people, $15 an hour not to work. I think that's a great idea because I'll take the $15 an hour not to work. Then a couple, you know, after a couple of weeks, I'll come back and I'll say, you know, I can't do it on 15 an hour. You got to give me more. Because if you don't give me $15 more, I'm going to go out and get a job. <laughs> you know? But like I said, they keep going after Trump. Why go after a guy that's finally doing something for America? Come on. Unemployment is down. Record lows. Unemployment for women is down. Record lows. Sounds like you, Joe. I'm always down. Uh, yeah, Record uh, lows? <laughs> but I, I tell you. Oh, <laughs> down. You're ruining my time. I can't, I can't do nothing here. I'll tell you what I'm going to. I think we got two comedians. He's, he's looking at my yeah, butt yeah, again. Yeah. I can feel warmth <laughs> on my butt. The breathing. Fred. I'm Joe, you got to, you know you got a lot of fans out there. Do I got a lot of fans? Say hello to them. Hi, how you doing and stuff? Back at the ranch. Yeah. Mom and Pa Ketter was being held down. If it wasn't for Rex, the Wonder Dog, we'll go into that story later, okay? But I'll tell you one thing. Everybody keeps asking me, do you really come from a family of 13? Yes, I came from a family of 13. Nine boys, four girls. Everybody will say, wow, your father must have loved your mom. No, he hated her guts. He was hoping to get lost in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a baseball team. Like I said, he had nine boys. I used to hate it when he would trade a brother. Or he missed my half-brother, Jeter. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good guy. Well, like I said, it's tough. What's my, well, I, my family had 13 kids. My mother couldn't cook. What? Worst cook in the world. I tell you, she was bad. She thought bosselism was a flavor. <laughs> you ever heard of a turkey dying of dirt degree burns? Yeah. Uh, my f that's why we had 13 kids. My father kept her in the bedroom. He knew if she was going out into the kitchen, she was going to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like I said, we cried the night my father died. My father was a cook in the family, and we cried when he passed away. We knew we got to eat her cooking. Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, oh, That's you terrible. had her cooking. <laughs> Be nice. I am being nice. She was a wonderful woman, beautiful woman. <laughs> Just keep her out of the kitchen. Right. <laughs> she definitely was going to kill somebody. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, anyway. I heard you were very close with Superman. Oh, yeah, I was close with Superman. I used to wear the uniform. Yeah? Yes. Uh, I, I had to give it up. I lost the legs. You lost the leg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all that landed. <laughs> you know? It was like kryptonite. It don't make me weak. It, it's going to be a bad rash. <laughs> but I t hate to tell you where the rass is. <laughs> Yeah. Fred, you're looking at it again. <laughs> I can tell. It's getting warm. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't want you looking at my butt. 62 years old. i got to tell you, it's still tight <laughs> and smooth. Well, let's go into another story. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you, you're, you're right. You're now. looking at my you're butt. <laughs> I know he is. Okay, let's get back. I, you know, I took Fred. I told, I told you, I thought about going gay. Just an X-ray. But it means a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> hey, back up too oh, much, I can't so. go past the line here. I got to be nice, okay? Back up too much, yeah. Oh, okay, so. I tell you, I just had, you know, my girlfriend the other night, she told me what's going on. We're not having enough sex. I told her, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm doing pretty good out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. What? That's terrible. Fred's not having it. He's not having it. You know what? You can't. Miranda's back here. You're talking like that. What? I'm being nice. I'm not it's using okay. four letter words. Uh, it's his girlfriend that should be worried. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Amy. You kidding? Oh, you'll you, get it. You wait, either you, like it or you'll wait, lump it. The other night, she wanted to do something kinky. So I tied it to the bed and I went out. What <laughs> 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 up, Bob? You tied it to the bed. Yes, well, I tell you what, she broke up with me. Uh, really? I understand why she wanted to break up with me and stuff. She wants to spend more time with her husband and her boyfriend. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to miss paying for that sex. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, you say, oh, you pay for sex? Yeah, it's like car insurance. You don't want it, but you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you really go cover with the... Look at well, Miranda, how she's laughing. Well, uh, I love him. You can't say nothing about a Miranda. Yeah. She is beautiful. She, she can look at my butt. You can. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel the warmth on the butt. He's getting he's uncomfortable. Your wallet. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing. Wait, wait, wait. Shy. That's not my yeah. wallet. That's my phone. Everybody yeah. keeps going. Is it a smartphone? Tell people out with about me. Facebook. What do you think about Facebook? Oh, I'm starting Choice Book. <laughs> I started Choice Book. You know how you, in Choice Book, when you befriend somebody, that's called salvation. And when you unfriend them, that's damnation. Mm. <laughs> Did you say something about disgrace book? What? Facebook. Facebook. I was McCoy. Facebook don't want me on it anymore. Why? They said I ain't got the face for it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got the face for it. Yeah. You know you got it. Now you got it. Now you got it. Now you got it. You got it. You know something? I just got a message from uh, my boss. Just doubled my pay. Get out. Yeah, he folded it. <laughs> <laughs> you know I could take my pay to welfare. I'll say what kept you. <laughs> I take my pay to the bank. <laughs> the girl, I got to deal with them. It's okay to laugh as long as you don't point. <laughs> I, I bought my pay in one night. To, I gave the, told the girl to put it in the thing. She looked at the pay. She put her hand up. I said, what are you doing? She goes, aren't you going to rob us? I said, why would I rob you? She goes, come on, you can't live on this. <laughs> I have the cheapest boss in the world. Wait, I got to stand on the line. They keep telling me, stay on the line. Before you say that, what what is your most uh, funniest cartoon that you used to like? Cartoons. What was your favorite cartoon? Oh, uh, Bugs Bunny. Get out. Yeah. Why? You remember Bugs Tell Bunny? Me. Starting here, starting now. <laughs> you don't remember that? No. Oh, come on. Well, I, I remember uh, Rabbit. Uh, no, you remember what's McCoy, you know? <laughs> That's uh, Elmer Fudd. Oh, no, that was that's Elmer Fudd. Fudd. Yeah. Oh, Elmer Fudd. Fudd. That's what I'm thinking. Well, he's talking about. Did you Elmer remember? Fudd. How about McGilla Gorilla? Could you do it? <laughs> McGilla. I hated it, McGilla Gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Remember the song McGilla Gorilla? Yes, I know. Yeah, how much is the gorilla in the window? How, how, how much McGilla? McGilla. McGilla. Full of charm and No, McGilla for sale. For sale. Well, yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I didn't even watch that cartoon. I Come on, Joe. Don't lie to people. You did. No, I didn't. How about Hong Kong Fui? What was your favorite one then? Tell him. Tell My him. favorite one? I told you the Bucks Bunny show. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. No other? What's McCoy? Hit the lights. What's McCoy? How did it go? Stop the lights. See, so I bring it back inside. Now you, got my, you know, I'm getting old. I can't even remember <laughs> things. I can't remember my first name. All right, Joe. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, guys. 
Yeah, well, I'm Joe. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. We, we, we got it. We got Joe. We got you in a. We got you in the movie. We got now. We're gonna have a cartoon with you in it. Well, well, you're, no, wait, wait. you're becoming famous. I'm becoming now. famous. I'm just not getting the money. That you know, in the cartoon, famous. you know what your name is in the cartoon. Right? Yes. What? You gotta tell him. No, I don't. You don't <laughs> even tell me about the cartoon. Yes, I told you about. What? It. When? Talk, no. What's your name? In the cartoon. In the cartoon. cartoon. Call you Wiggy because remember you you sometimes. You, you, you always make fun of my. Uh, hair. No, no, I'm not making. I don't know. No, I'm not making you fun of your hair. No, I'm just saying. Some nights. Even, hey, there's something in here. No, no, but people say, "Wow, you know, Joe Long." Sometimes his hair fluffs up. I says that's. That's what, because I fluffed it up. I got the hair blower. I spent hours in front of the hair blower. Uh -huh. I'm going to man. Oh, is that what you do? They said it's a wig. I said no. It's not. Tell them. Tell them. No, it's not a wig. It's not a wig. Say Trump's, right? <laughs> yeah, right. There's something in there, I'm pretty sure. Goes from one side to the other. Okay, let's get back to what I was talking about. All right, hurry up because and stop we're slowing down. down. We'll, yeah, because you keep interrupting Come to me. Halt. We're coming to a halt. We're coming to a halt. I got to stay on the line. You know, people are enjoying it. Are they? Yeah. I could tell. I see it. I could see them jumping you, you on the couch. You want to something? No, they're all, look, look, look. Well, well, yeah, well, you realize one thing? I gave up four years. They're all jumping. I gave up four years of Julia for this. <laughs> That's funny. What? Uh, Why? Oh, wait a minute. Crying. I'll tell you one thing. I'm running for public office. Get out. Yes. Yeah. My campaign is going to be legalized prostitution. <laughs> so you know at the beginning what you're going to get. That's why they call you Joe Long. A prostitute? <laughs> 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 that joke went over your head. <laughs> Do, uh, okay, I gotta explain this joke to you. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm gonna first thing to do, I'm gonna legalize prostitution so you know at the beginning of my term what you're gonna get. Think about it. I got time. She got it! Aurora's <laughs> laughing and she's not even at home watching it. She got the joke! I honestly don't know what's going on. You don't understand the joke. We got five people in the audience and it sounds she's like She's laughing because she knows the joke. Explain it to them. You want to explain it to them? Okay, you explain it to them. She got the joke. Okay, wind it up. I got to say good night. I got to say goodbye. Let me put All right. the mic up. Yeah, say, you want to say one more thing to the people? Yes. God bless America. God bless Donald Trump. <laughs> what? God bless Donald Trump. God bless, God, God bless Donald Trump. You want to get a red hat to go with that jacket. <laughs> All right, everybody. Joe Long. All right. Known in the cartoon as Wiggy. I, I still like Wes McCoy's here. There's only one audience member. We got the joke in the audience. I know. Well, listen. We only have one person. At the end of the show, we have one person in the audience. At the end of the show, we're going to So that means it's 100% if we have one audience. Yeah, yeah, right. right. 100% of right now. Did you get the joke? Yes, I got it. Okay. Am I anything No. I don't know I didn't get it either. I didn't understand. See? We're both lost. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Where are you going? So, Bloop, <laughs> Bloop over here, you could get him. When is your next tournament, Bloop? 18, May, May 18th. May 18th? Now who are you oh. playing up against? Now you got it. Yeah, Youngsters. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, Youngsters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you got the trophy. Look at Bloop's trophy. Where'd you get that? Tell us about it. Get it, No, we didn't get it either. None of us. We got, we I got explained the joke. We're the non-Trump side here. Oh, yeah, we're going to get it. I'm proud of it. They don't want to talk about politics. Yep. They don't want to talk about politics. So I just stay out of it. Blue, I don't right? even. I'm blue, yes. I stay out of it. So go ahead, Blue. Tell us about that. That was a a singles tournament for 35 and over that I won. 35 and over. Anybody under 12? <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. They're all 90 years old. Can I see that? I could drink out of that. Joe, did you? I like to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Academy Award. <laughs> Joe, you fought. Wow. It's a beautiful trophy. You look good though with an award. Well, give me one. <laughs> so, all right, so you won that award, 35 and over, and then you had another... Um... This was for a cancer association. Oh, wow, cancer, look at that. that I, it was for a uh, ovarian cancer tournament for the Show for people a lot of kids. Yeah, oh, did, you take nice. it, did you take it out? That's nice. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's great. Dave, you did something for cancer too, right? I, oh, yes. Another presentation. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's a, I'm serious. When it comes to cancer, I actually, yeah. Yeah. I yeah, ran the marathon, cancer. 2017 marathon for uh, colon cancer. Right, um, it was a great event. 
I, I loved it, but uh, to be honest, I will never run the marathon again. It was one of the hardest uh, yeah. events I ever <coughs> trained for. The marathon. You know? Yeah. Was this the actual? The New York City Marathon. 26 miles? Uh, yeah. Was, I, it, like I said, it was a nightmare. Yeah, um, it's a long. Yeah, it was long. really, you know, it was really long. Also, at the same time, it just takes such a toll on your body that once you yeah. do recover after three months, it takes you about three months for your body to fully recover from a marathon. I mean, to me, it did. I will never do it again. I thought it was really, really great. Long. And I think it's beautiful what you're doing. Yeah, Thank that's you. great. Yeah, that's, I mean, uh, it seems like they're coming a long way with Canton. Yeah, too, they are. Because of, of a lot of, there's like, a lot of benefit uh, tournaments in all the, all the sports. No, but they, I mean, like, I, I know there's a lot, money more, for the kids. a lot more people are getting cured from certain yeah. cancers. And, and you know what so. it is? Also, a lot of people are getting involved, like you're doing, you know, helping out and spreading the word, which is a big deal. Yes. You know? Right? Yeah. 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 And you just, and... <clears throat> Dave, you just won a big uh, Spartan. Uh, yes, actually, I'm not, I'm not promoting it, but uh, I love the Spartan races. I've done about 65 of them in the last seven, eight years. And uh, I got first place for 39 and over uh, for, it's for the City Field Spartan. I, I love doing those races, and I think it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, I have a lot of friends that do races and, and like Spartan races. Yeah, they're stuff, great. They're so amazing. Once you do it, you like become addicting. addicted. Yeah, oh, I was just going to say. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what my friends say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how many different obstacles do you have to go through? Like? Uh, it depends which one you're doing. You got, let's say you got a sprint. Mm -hmm. You also got a super and also a beast, which I, the, yeah, beast. if you do all three of them, that's called trifecta. That's the one you did? Yeah, I done more. I, oh, you, yeah, I've done one on all of them? Yeah, I've done all of them. I've done about 65 of them in the last six, seven, eight years. I actually trifecta multiple times. Um, wow. I, it's, uh, like I said, it's an incredible event. Uh, yeah. It's something for everybody. You know, the people are really uh, strong. They're very, the community is very strong, very close. Let's say if you're running or you're doing something, climbing a wall or something like that, and you fall, you got dozens of people just trying to pick you up, just making sure yeah. that you finish. It's more like life. It's not a race. It's right. a journey, you yeah. know? All, as long as you par participate, that's all that counts. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, and then plus mm -hmm. it, it, gives, it motivates people to yeah. do something really yeah. good, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's great. Um, if you guys ever want to do it, we could always run in a pack. Yeah. And you, then you said that that's, that was uh, for cancer, too? Or uh, no, I, that, I just do, you know, oh. I did the marathon, I did for cancer. I also do a, a run in, um, in Randall's Island. I do it every year. Right, it's also for colon cancer, you know, mm -hmm. so what they do, you're actually promoting and making awareness for cancer, right? So I try to run every year. I got second place this year, which it was about four weeks ago. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, at the same time, it keeps you active. It keeps you yeah. going, yeah. and it keeps you with yep. the community, you know? Cool, mm -hmm. yeah, it's great. Yeah. So anyway, all right, we'll get back to it. We'll, oh, we're going to do a demonstration. But we also got to finish. Yeah. You finished, Paul? No, no, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, he's finished for now. We're going to show a clip uh, in a little bit. But um, we're going to do a song, Frank. Frank James uh, sang, and we, we recorded a, uh, another original song, No Matter What, right, Frank? Great song. Uh, again, uh, this was Fred's idea. He thought of me to do the vocals, which I was glad to do. And I actually played the bass, which I'm not... Uh, uh, saying I'm a bass player or anything, but <laughs> yeah. but it was a lot of fun. And I got to play the bass on this song and, as well as singing. And Fred did again did all the uh, the keyboard work. Mm -hmm. It was like magic, right? We we did it in yeah. no time, a couple of hours. Yeah, it's great. Okay, yeah, so all right, are we ready to go with that? Yeah, take yeah. that. Up. Okay, mm -hmm. we're ready to go. Yeah. So this name of the song is called No Matter What, and it's a uh, nice. it's a beautiful. Uh, Love uh, song. You know, falling in love with somebody and then going through a relationship and then it ends and you still, you know. Mm -hmm. Survives. Still survives. <laughs> yeah. Love. Yeah. Love always uh, never ends. say, no matter what you do, no matter who you are, I'll always love you. No matter what they say, no matter what you do, no matter who you are, I'll No matter what they say, no matter 
what you do, no matter who you are, I'll always love you. I can see clearly now. It had to be this way. It's up to you to make the world seem true. And you will be too. That's all we had to do to make our dreams come true. It's up to you to make the world seem true. And you will be too. One more day. One more night. One more time. It had to be this way. Had to be this way. It had to be this way. It had to be this way. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Freddie Cash, producer extraordinaire. Yeah. That was beautiful. That's yeah. Freddie's nice. idea. That came out of Freddie's um, well, ideas. Well, see, look at how many you know times you get you fall in love with somebody, right? You, uh, during your life, like, yeah. and then they leave you, but you still feel, you know, what I'm saying, no matter what they say, no matter what you do, yeah. I'll always love you. You know, you, you love a person in another way, but but you yeah. still can't. You still got those traces in your heart. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. It never leaves yeah, you. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, I think you know a lot of people. Great. I never. <clears throat> I felt that. My, I felt that when I was writing it. You know, it yeah. all came out that way, and that's you know, mm -hmm. that's the way you got to write. It's nice. <laughs> then I was in Hawaii. I wrote Who Do You Like? Oh, um, uh, what was this song that I wrote? Um, oh, How Can It Be? How Can It Be? I was at, I was at top of a mountain <laughs> singing this song. How can it be that's really so cool. easy and free? Like you know, because you're out and will you know. And I'm playing the piano. I couldn't believe it. I was playing the piano in Jamaica on top of a mountain. <laughs> and just Hawaii? come on naturally, Hawaii right? Or Jamaica? No, in Jamaica. Uh, okay. No, Hawaii, Fruit. that's when I jumped off at a oh. cliff. <laughs> you I tried to kill myself at Hawaii. When, like up <laughs> when I was in Jamaica, I was, I was too <laughs> laid back. Fred, what about that story you told me that you what? were at the top of the mountain and, and with the, with the, yeah, with the ocean was, below? With yeah, no, that was in Hawaii. Yeah, what happened, what happened well, with that? We, I, was, yeah. I, I was playing percussion with these natives on the, on the beach. They call me to kill a whale. They says, yo, kill a whale, let's go, where's your bongo? So I said, all right, I'll party with you. So we went down, we, you know, we were jamming and everything, and this one nutty um, Hawaiian guy goes, hey, Fred, you wanna, you wanna go up on top of the mountain? I said, what do you mean, go on top of the mountain? You know, and, and some was beat, and I was getting really heated up. Disoriented. Playing and jamming, and you know, we, we had a couple of, couple of beers here and there, you know, we were, we were having a good time. <laughs> Wow. And, and then I said, wow. I says, John, on top of the mountain. I said, nah, I don't know about that. And then about an hour later, I said, you know what? It's not a bad idea. Let's go. So we went up. We journeyed up to this mountain. It was like 20 feet out into the, into the ocean now. So we had to walk like miles to get out there. So we finally get out there. And he goes, he goes all right, get ready to jump. And there's a family behind me. I said, this. There's a family behind me. And he's, they're going... They go, go ahead, jump. I says, I turned around and said, why don't you go and jump? You know, the kids, you know, I, I wasn't being mean. I was just like, yeah, yeah. I was scared for my life at that point. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, this, this family's telling me to go and jump. I says, look, 
I said, that's 40 feet down. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, so sure enough, the Hawaiian guy says, all right, Brad, I'm wait for a five foot wave and then jump. So he says, I'm gonna do it now. So he sees the five, he jumps and goes down, down. I said, where the hell is he? He couldn't even see him. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I see this, like, being, this head pop up. I said, holy shit. Oh. I said, no, I can't curse. I'm just holy bleep, bleep, bleep. Go curse. bleep that out. Is that a word? <laughs> no. That's, a, that's the shit. That's a Sugar, shit. honey, iced tea. But anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I'm looking down and I'm looking back at the family. Oh, I was yeah. like, oh, hey, dad. So anyway, I said, either I, I got to walk back and I don't know how I'm going to get back or I got to jump. So I said, you know what? It's a messed up story. Let me, what? Yes, yeah, it's, it's true. That's no, it's part. God's it's honest truth. This is exactly what I'm. So then I look out. I says, all right, let's go. Let's do this. So then the waves come and I says, oh my God. And, I'm, and I, I see two rocks sticking out of, the, out of the ocean. And I'm saying, oh my God. I'm going to kill myself. So you I says, did. well, I says, he lived, maybe I'll live, you know? So I, I, all of a sudden, the five-foot wave comes, and I says, I'm going. And I just jumped. I jumped down as far wow, as I could. That's great. And I'm going down and down. Says, but, and I'm saying to my mom, when I'm going down, I'm saying, when am I going to fall? <laughs> when am I going to fall? I said, God, please. Just let me feel, it. and then I'm thinking, sh maybe I shouldn't fall. I'm gonna hit the rocks. I, I, everything was going through. Finally, I hit the, hit the water. I'm going down. <clears throat> I'm in the water now, Joe. I'm, I'm going listening. down. I'm listening. Down, down, down. I, I stopped breathing. Now I says, wow, I'm still going down, and I can't breathe now. How am I gonna get back up? So sure enough, I finally stopped. Then I started going up, but now I got no air, nothing. I'm, I'm actually get. I must have when I was going up. The fish must have thought I was a blowfish or something. My whole, my whole face was like blown out. So I'm, I'm going, going, still nothing, no air, nothing, nothing. I says I'm dead. All of a sudden, bam! It's like bursting out of like, like, like you, you're reborn again. It's, it's right. amazing. Like a volcano. Like, yeah. yeah. It burst. It burst. Like I was like, oh my god, I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> like, I, then I see this, this so I wanted to kill the guy. I see him and he goes, hi, hey, Frank, you did, you made it. I said, yeah, I made it, I made it. He goes, oh yeah, but you better hurry up. I said, why? He says, because the shark's all around. I wanted, to, I, wanted to, I wanted to choke the guy and drown him, but I didn't have time for that. I said, I just, I just, st no, I just started swimming. I swear, I started swimming. I, would, I, beat, I beat him to the, to the 20 feet back, I beat him. I beat him. I said, I said what took you so long? I'm laying there like this. I, water's coming out of my, my mouth like a, like. <laughs> I was laying on the sand. I said, God, I, I can't believe I, I'm alive. You know? So every day when I was in a wife, because we played out there, you know, uh, we played for Xerox, you know, big company. You know, we jammed. We jammed every every five nights, so we had a lot of time. That's why I think I went nuts. You know, we played once, one one day, you know, for a big uh, crowd of people and so We played. We opened up a Miami Sound Machine, Four Tops. Wow. We, well, and they were telling us go back on. I said, I said, you just paid a hundred thousand dollars for Miami Sound Machine. They said us to go back on because you know they were into the, yeah, yeah, they yeah. were into the now you know the oldies you know the yeah. you know. So anyway, but uh, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the story, but <laughs> could you imagine? I, it, so every, every time I went back to that mountain, I said, there's no way in hell I'm going near that place. <laughs> no way I'm going back in there, you know? You should do like story time videos on YouTube because that would be really funny. Yeah, well, the way like that whole story yeah, was just like but it was true. It's something true. else. That was I know. But it, when you're, you know, when you're in Hawaii, I don't know anybody out there in Staten Island that's been out to Hawaii and took that trip, but you do you you lose your mind between the <laughs> the, the plane trip, then the the uh, the pressure of the right. yeah. circumference of everything. Well, they you know? named the mountain after you. They named the mountain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's called Mount Stupidity. Mount Stupidity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, you do crazy things in your life. You know what are you gonna do? Oh, we're glad you made it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You're yeah here. Well, well, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, you wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. here. But anyway, be so out with the tide. All right, right so, so funny. Um, <coughs> what do you want to do next? You, you, you want to do uh, another song? Okay. Do you okay. Do song? Miranda something. Oh yeah, you want to do Miranda? Oh yeah, Miranda. <laughs> you want to do? Yeah, we're gonna do the demo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay.
Okay, okay, what are we doing? All right, Mir Miranda, <laughs> when you get home, you might as well explain the joke See, to you. This is a great joke. I got it now. Every oh, time, Miranda, everybody yeah. gets to. It took uh, me like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> everybody it. gets to show their talent and talk. That's why it's called Who You Like. Should Who I take this? Who do you like up? anyway? Not you. You like me? Who do you like? Oh, Who do you like? like Who do you like? I Miranda? swear. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> don't I even, like all don't you even guys. start. Don't even say nothing. Like Let's you don't want to see anything <laughs> happen there you go. to you. Miranda. <laughs> Miranda. You Come on. Yeah, that's Come right. on everybody, Miranda. 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 <laughs> no, the way I. Miranda. You know how I. <laughs> they got some Miranda. Just so <laughs> any, everybody out there knows, the reason why how I came up with the name Who Do You Like TV because I do a football show, and yep. every time they come on, they, they ask me who I like. Yep. Who, do you who, like? do you, who do you like? Who do you like? Who do you like? And even when I, you know, I, I bet on the horses, you go to winners, they go, who do you like? Who do you like? Who do you like? So I named mm -hmm. it, who do you like TV? Mm -hmm. I'm around gamblers all the time. I'm around, you know. Sports mm -hmm. also, sports people. What? It was called, what's it called? Um, uh, illegal Alien. I figured that sucker could run. It got beat up by a horse named Border Patrol. <laughs> 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 there, there is a horse named that. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, I'll tell you, Wiggy's coming up with good, great ones. He's wigging out. Yeah. You're fine. Hey, you're a funny guy. Huh? You've got an Ed McMahon near you. Ed as long as you man. have him near you, you can't miss. As long as he's miss. laughing, I know I'm doing good. All right, so let's see. Let's uh, can we okay. demonstrate something. So, uh, Take this off? Uh, yes, yeah. if you like. Um, what I'm going to just tell you a couple of things. Like, um, Wait a minute. Yes. Don't hurt him. No, no. In <laughs> fact, uh, no, I want to see Miranda hurt. No, she's going to be okay. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. What it is is pretty much what I designed is uh, um, programs for women, right? And uh, they're easy to do, right? In, uh, anything in fitness is pretty much about eating. So 80% is actually your diet, mm -hmm. right? Then the 20% is actually exercise. But you should also incorporate any kind of daily activities. So let's say a lot of people go into the office or they go to work and they stand or they sit there all day. So what I usually just incorporate is things that you could do, daily events. Like let's say go for a walk every day, right? Um, uh, let's say do a couple of step ups or do a couple of push ups against the desk. You know, what you're doing is actually toning yourself up, right? Well, you're losing weight. So this way you don't stay flabby, like I was telling you before, right. right? What happens a lot of women or a lot of men, they lose weight very fast. But the problem is that when they're losing weight, they only get caught up on losing weight. They don't realize that they also have to tone up, mm -hmm. right? So this way it helps your body, you know, regulate the weight and also keeps it tighter. You know, have you ever seen like um, men or women when they, they wave and their like triceps are going bloop, bloop, bloop like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Tricky. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens, yeah. you know? Especially so when the wind picks up. Yeah. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> right? So what I try to do is like um, I do workouts, which you could do at home, you could do at the park, you could do anywhere. And then... They're not three or four hour workouts, which a lot of people still think that's the way you have to do things. You know, it's the old way. Like you go to the gym for three or four hours, they, or you starve yourself to death, that's how you're gonna lose weight, it's not. What I usually do is like I set up four or five meals a day, sometimes six meals a day, right? The smaller meals, but you're always eating, so this way your metabolism and also your system thinks you're always digesting. So it helps you lose weight more, right? The other thing I do is like I do a 15 to 20 or 25 minute workout, which is high intensity. Right, that also helps you hit the muscle really tight and shock it so you're able to lose weight faster. Right? And then once again, like I was saying, the, uh, the biggest thing out of everything is actually your mindset. If you could change your mindset, everything else will follow. Mm -hmm. you know? So like I was saying, I mean, we could do something simple. Right? Um, uh, something simple that women could do it would be like three exercise uh, routine. Right? So if you wanted, you could just stand up, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. right? uh, well, I'll keep this on. So, so what we're going to do right now is something called dips. You could do a chair dips. So let's say she got a chair right yeah. behind her, right? <laughs> so all you're going to do is just put your arms against the chair, right? Just move your legs a little forward, and we'll hold it. Like that, right? Yep. And just dip down. Just go down and go up. Go down and go up. And then just do one more. Oh, and that's enough because you feel it, right? <laughs> See, that's yeah. something you could do at home. You could do it at the park. Do you could like do it at the office. Ten. Do uh, do three sets of 10. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, you won't be able to do that much, oh, right? Yeah. So what you do, you just go halfway down. Mm -hmm. You won't have to go all the way down, right? But as you get more um, condition, you'll be able to go lower, right? Yeah. At the same time, what that happens, that hits your triceps, it hits your shoulders, 
and that's you're able to tone up your upper body. Mm -hmm. Then what you do is like um, another exercise you could do, which I don't know if you're going to be able to do. Let's say if you got a step right here, right? All you're going to do is step up into it and step down. Mm -hmm. You do 10 on each leg, right? So what you're doing, you're shocking your body because you're hitting your lower body and your upper body, right? So the last thing you could do, which uh, especially for people in the office, so let's say if you're in the office a lot, right? What you're going to do, you could, buy, you could get two water bottles, two fruits, apples, oranges, anything. Instead of doing that, right, you're going to put them right on the side and you're going to lift them up, right? You're going to do straight up, right? Go up. You see that? That's your shoulders. You hear them crack? Mm -hmm. Oh, I so, heard crack. I'm, yep. I literally crack. crack. I, like like my whole body, like, cracks <laughs> yeah. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <Isn't laughs> <it cracking? laughs> you don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when what I she's crack, doing yeah, right now. She's making that noise, yeah. So what she hit, she hit the triceps, uh -huh. right, <laughs> with the dips. Good job. She's also Good hitting job. her shoulders, <laughs> and she's also hitting her legs. <laughs> so this way, you know, you do three sets of 10, mm -hmm. right, and take only one minute in between breaks, mm -hmm. right? And once, if you're done with that, that's only like 15, 20 minutes. You know, once you're done, you got a high-intensity workout. Not many people realize. They're always now, thinking. what about if you want to go and have a cheeseburger and fries and more? Well, okay, you could actually... <laughs> no, no, what I'm just saying, you do get hungry at the uh, work out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sorry. you do. So let's say you, you want to have some kind of a power snack, right? Instead of going out there, I mean, cool, you could eat a cheeseburger, cheese. right? You could eat a cheeseburger, right? Have cheese, but watch what kind of bread you put in there. So if you can, have yeah. pumpernickel bread or have, let's say, rye bread, right? Stay away from the white bread. Stay away from pasta. Stay away from, um, let's say, rice. Those are the bigger, bigger what about killers Frank? for us. He has pizza. That's all my yeah. family eats. He has, the, he has, the, he has, the, he has, has to have. He's an Italian. Yeah, like my family eats. If I don't have the pizza Friday, no, forget it. No, but what I always, kind of pizza I always like tell it? them that. Yeah. Well, yeah. see, you could eat anything you want, right? I, see, yeah. a diet is not so much that you starve yourself, right. but it's pretty much picking better foods mm -hmm. for everyday living, right? right? And it's still working out. It's, it's still working out. So now, if you keep active three days a week. Right, let's say you go for a walk and do some kind of exercise like we were just doing, right? At the same time, you're right, you'll be able to lose weight. I designed a program that makes you lose anywhere from 5 to 13 pounds in seven days. And all we're doing is just teaching you how to eat. That's all it is. I'm teaching you how to eat. I'm teaching you how to get active the way you used to be when we were younger. Right. Remember, like, literally, like you were saying something that we used to go out early in the yeah, morning. Early in the morning, just right? stay out all day. And we loved it. Come home until later. Yeah. And what yeah. happened with the new generation? The new generation's actually just caught up on the phone. It, you know, everything's automated, yeah. right? It, it, you guys yeah, just need to get back to get life. You know, you're how lazy <clears throat> this world has become. How lazy is How lazy I'm going to tell you. How they lazy put is peanut lazy. butter and jelly together <laughs> in one jar. When we, oh, were yeah. Kids, yeah, when we was kids, we used to walk over, get the peanut butter out, Walk over, get the jelly out, <laughs> take the yeah. knife, and put them both together. Yes. They don't do it anymore. They just take the walk, take one walk, get the jar, open it up, and smear it. That's it. It's called That's automation. It. Right. No. <laughs> but the kids are not getting the exercise they used to get. I know, I know. Yeah. In fact, you know, the hardest things to see is like, let's say, when my kids go in the car, they sit and run next to each other. They're texting each other. They're not even talking to each other anymore. Yeah. So the human interaction is actually going away from us. You know, yeah. so what we need to do, as, you know, as adults, is just help out bring that back, yeah. because nobody really talks to anybody. No. You know? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. no, it's true. Well, you're right. Where's my computer? Where's my phone? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I know. I know. No, you, no, know, but you could have both yeah, though. You, yeah, you but could that's what gets me today. Everybody texts you. Yeah. Everybody texts. Oh, I want to text this person. Yeah, but you never Excuse me. You. you got a phone. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. I know. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna finish up with a song <coughs> because we we're running out of time. I know this has been a great show for everybody out there. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching, mm -hmm. everybody, and um, I want to thank uh, Brian, Pat, Woo! Sal, Mike, uh, Dan Panaccio, and did I mean? Oh, and Dan and Dan. Oh, Dan Panaccio, right? I, I didn't right, hear right, Joe right. Long in this. And well, Joe. <laughs> you, Freddie, you know, we, we match. Did you we match, that? yeah, yeah. I yes. didn't get the memo. So, so <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What just, song is this? I just wrote something. Okay, now look. Hey, hey, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. My sneakers match his best. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. All right. That was, um, what's, well, who did this? Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. Yeah, right. that's a great song. Yeah. I love this song. Okay. Temperatures are rising. Hitching motor running. Yeah! Here on the highway.
looking for adventure And whatever comes our way Yeah, darling, gonna make it happen Take this world in a love embrace Fire all your guns at once and Explode to space I like smoking lightning Heavy metal thunder Racing with the wind And the feeling that I'm under Yeah, Lord, I'm gonna make it happen Take this world in a loving embrace Fire all your guns at once and Explode to space And like a true nature's child We were born, born to be wild We can climb so high I'm never gonna die Born to be wild You like? Born to be wild, yeah Woo!